Patrick Byers joins us today from the University of Missouri Extension. Patrick, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, I appreciate it. And you're here to talk about what? Fire blight. Okay, what is fire blight? Well, fire blight is a particularly damaging plant disease. And it attacks things such as apples, pears, crab apples, ornamental pears. Uh, occasionally we see it on some ornamental shrubs like pyracantha. And this year we're even seeing it on blackberries and raspberries. Okay, so this is a pretty big problem for not for for a big group of different fruits. It's true. And if you drive around, you can see the trees that are being afflicted. with this disease and what it does basically is it blights back the uh, growing points of the, of the uh, plant and I have an example here and you can see how the uh, the upper part of the plant is died back it also attacks flower clusters early in the spring okay and this year uh, we're seeing very heavy levels some of the highest levels that I remember seeing over the years and we can trace that back to the weather we've been having oh you're, you're welcome <laughs> don't send me, please don't send me emails about that one, but no, no, like it, you said we've, we've had a lot of rain, it's been very warm we, the last three weeks, and that's when you've we also have, told and, me and that's, that's when, when. That's when the disease is particularly damaging, and, rain, especially if we get rain in, in late May and early June, which we've had this year. Yeah, we've had a little bit of that so far this <laughs> year. Um, now, what can be done to help prevent this, or well, help make it not as bad. To, to manage this disease, uh, start from the very beginning. If you're going to plant an okay. apple tree, for example, let's choose an apple cultivar that is resistant to the disease. And we have a good suite of apple cultivars and pears, too, that resist this disease. They're, they're not as prone to get Okay, it. that's good. So that's the first step. Um, and secondly, if you do have a plant that is showing these symptoms, these should be pruned off. Mm -hmm. And you want to print them off as soon as you see evidence of the disease, and that'll be sometime in in late May or early June. Okay. Uh, print them off, destroy the printings. It's best to haul them away or bury them. And then as you make the cuts, disinfect your printing tools. Uh, full strength Lysol or a Clorox bleach dip will take care of that for you. Okay, now disinfect them after or every cut you make? Every disinfect. cut you make. It's, it's like going into surgery. You're removing these <laughs> disease parts. You don't want to spread bacteria around on your tools. Well, that's a good idea. And Patrick, where can they find out more information on we this? We have a wealth of information on fire blight. Uh, call up our extension hotline at the Greene County Extension Office. Our number there is 881-8909. And there's also a free downloadable publication on fire blight at the Extension website, which is extension.missouri.edu. Perfect, Patrick. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. Chris.